Well, hey there, Capricorn, and welcome to your intuitive channel forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. As we expand on the energies, this reading is for the end of August, beginning of September 2021. Oh, thanks, Spirit. General reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest for everyone else. Because it is general, you may want to look at the forecast for you. Oh, thanks, Spirit. Moon rising and Venus. If you don't know what those are, there's a link in the description to help you calculate yours. Just a couple of foundational cards, and then we'll uh, get started here. Excellent. Ooh, nice. All right, so we have the Two of Air, the King of Air, and the Queen of Fire. Hey, if this does resonate with you, if you uh, want to claim the reading, just say, hey, throw a comment below the video. I uh, really uh, appreciate all your comments and your likes. Um, oh, and uh, thanks again for subscribing and support the channel. Really appreciate that as well. All right, so let's get started, shall we? All right, so we have the Two of Air. And the Two of Air, kind of like the Two of Swords in the regular deck. This is about taking a step back for a minute, thinking about all your options, determine and deciding, you know, which way to go. Do I go right? Do I go left? Do I choose this? Do I choose that? So it's a stalemate period, a period where you're considering all your options, um, and thinking about things. I mean, there's no reason to rush the perfect answer that's for your highest good will come to you, you know, so take your time and remain in a peaceful state of mind if you can. But, uh, you know, you're forced to make a decision. So, um, that's coming during this period. You've got the king of air, wise guy, kind of almost looks like an owl a little bit. Um, it's kind of got that owl face. This is about working smarter, not harder, okay? Smarter, not harder, you know? It's about using your, 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 the, your smarts, using your intellect. Although passion is delicious, sometimes we have to step back and look at the bigger picture, and we have to look at it from a structured point of view. Um, this is about negotiations uh, that might be going on during this period, some um, I mean, successful negotiations. This is about um, using that intellectual authority of yours. So it's okay to have passion, and passion always brings us joy. But this is about taking that other, you know, the yin and the yang. So this is about the other side of the coin, which is making sure that you've got your ducks in a row and you're working to you the most efficient way you can. All right. So then we have the Queen of Fire, okay? Look at that, gorgeous. Who does she look like? Hmm. I don't know. If you have an opinion, throw a comment below. Her face kind of looks like, I don't know, Morgan Fairchild or something from the 80s. Um, anyway, uh, big heart chakra here uh, that's illuminated. Uh, the, the fire, you can see the fire illuminated in the heart. And this is about um, artistic endeavors. It's about um, co-creating with others. So maybe you're looking to do something uh, in a joint effort with someone else. Uh, so we're making, we're working smarter, not harder. And, you know, it's like we have the whole gamut. We have the passion and the smarts. Because this talks about, this card is about like that soul connection and passion and inspired by spirit. So you're making a decision by using your head and then you can stir up the passion in order to make it a more delicious experience for yourself. All right, so we've got these foundational cards here. Let's do a quick shuffle. Now I've already pre-shuffled this deck, so we'll do another quick shuffle and we'll see what kind of clarification we can get. Thanks, spirit. Wow. We'll look at those. In a second, and just let's just let's do that. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's take a look at some of these. Okay, <laughs> all right, and then we'll leave these here. Okay, let's go. Yeah. All 
Alrighty. So, what I'm getting here is, you know, that 3 a.m. wake up call. So, you're waking up. Um, spirit has you jumping up out of bed, so to speak. You're jumping up at like 3 in the morning. And, or the first thing you do when you wake up is you're immediately going back to this very stressful time, very, um, you know, a lot of uh, heartburn, a lot of agita, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress. Um, once you make this decision, you know, this is a change for you, you know, especially if you're not very decisive, but it's a change for you. And I see you moving away from this worry, this indecisiveness, this um, anxiety, as things start to change and you're transforming here, you're really, I always feel like you're taking, in some ways you're taking this leap of faith that it's time. It, it You know, sitting on the fence is a decision and it's not serving you anymore. And you're transforming, you're, you're, you're saying, hey, I'm going to focus on this, okay? And this is about smarter, not harder. I'm going to focus on this. And for some, a lot of you, I see a creative endeavor, you know? Um, I see a huge creative endeavor here, an opportunity where you're able to really shine. And this is about blocks to success being lifted that just popped out of the deck, right? Um, and this is about money and entrepreneurial, uh, endeavors, uh, support for what you're looking to achieve. So you've got the support that you need. Um, you're the strength, you know, this is the wisdom. Uh, you're, you've got, let's see what else you got. Yeah. You've got the, the reasons to celebrate as you're inspired to move into a new direction. So I see... As I said, I see these creative endeavors for a lot of you. Uh, maybe you're expanding on uh, an idea, something you put off, off on the shelf for a while, and you're coming back to it. This is also about inheritance, so money. It's about um, family get-togethers, end of August, beginning of September. Yeah, but creative new beginnings, you know, opportunities for you to shine, opportunities for um, like a creative workflow here. You know, some of you are being are going to be traveling. Again, opportunities and money coming. So there's tons of opportunities. One more spirit says, okay. Tons of opportunities. Now here in the Ace of Pentacles, you've got the crown chakra, you've got the white flowers, you've got the red, uh, which is the root chakra. So your connection to the higher higher self, the connection and collaboration with co-creation, married to bringing it into the material world. So being able to, you know, take advantage of the of the money, it's the door is opening here. It's it's up to you whether you want to walk through it. So lots of great things for you, Caps. At the end of August, beginning of September, it's up to you whether you want to move forward into that new beginning by making a decision. It will be a change, you know, that revitalizes you, that brings you forward in a way where you can really spend time focusing on the goal, using your, your head where, there, where your blocks are being lifted. Okay. That's all I've got. Thanks again for your likes and subscribes. Again, for supporting the channel by subscribing. Really appreciate you, and we'll talk to you soon.